By the way, did you know Nick Cassianos is a Philly? <laughs> Pitching for us today is going to be the 96 overall. You sell Kikuchi? I definitely didn't say that. There's no way I said it right. There's just no shot. I tried. Four pitch mix, primary cutter, fastball slider, change up 107 hits per nine with 98 break. Needed to add a diamond to the rotation to go along with John Lester, who will be pitching episode eight. And that episode is coming out tomorrow if we can get this video to 1,000 likes. So if you haven't already hit that thumbs up, some of you make a habit of it as soon as you click on the video and I appreciate you for it. But if you haven't already, take a second to hit that thumbs up down below. Greatly appreciate it. We're less than two weeks from the release of MLB 22 and these videos are doing great for this time of year. So I really can't thank you guys enough. Gold Blake Trinan and Roberto Osuna are also gonna be joining the bullpen. We're down to just one silver in our pitching staff and Robinson Chirinos is the one silver left in our lineup. After that, we will officially have upgraded every single position on the squad. Aaron Loop, David Robertson, Darren O'Day and Taylor Rogers could use a day off today. Let's see if we can get the job done with our new diamond pitcher and about half the bullpen because we are gonna need our pitching in the next few games. We are getting very close to 700, which is where it's gonna jump up to Hall of Fame and things are gonna start getting really, really sweaty. Rules are in the description box down below. As always, for those of you that are new, we play one game in every episode. After the one game, we're gonna open up packs. If the game ends short, sometimes I'll jump into a second game to get a little bit more action. Let's play our game, try and get as many packs unlocked as possible, and get some more diamonds on the team. We'll go Bucks and Mancata, Kyle Tucker, Framil Reyes, Ryan Klesko, Willie Adamas, Jose Ramirez, and Robinson Chirino still down there in the eight hole as a silver. My dude, but it, he's just my dude. I get comments on every video. When are you going to take them out? Probably not. Home squad. We're playing Jackie Wacky. Felix Hernandez on the bump and a squad of parallel five cards. Let's see what we can do in Laughing Mountain Stadium today. A whole lot of games on that resume right there. My goodness, my played over 700 games are ranked. Okay. We really got to figure out this pitching staff. That is a bomb, by the way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 443 oppo, Jackie, relax. We go down in every game. Crazy. Two on, nobody out. Trey Turner, we got him one, two there. Ran that cutter in on his hip, and he got it to drop out and left. Trout fouls off that cutter. He had that bag stolen easily. Trout got a piece of that one. Found it off. Stays alive. We'll do one, two again. I got r 2 Now it is two and two. Foul ball from Trout. He had that bag stolen. It's the second time he had the bag stolen, but he took off. Or, I'm sorry. It's the second time he had the bag stolen, but he fouled it off. And now Trout. Oh, we almost got that one. Thankfully, we got that in. In. The tag. That was a good slider. He takes second base with Trey Turner. Just too easy. Not throwing the ball hard enough. Uh oh, this is not good. Another foul ball. It's going to be really difficult to put anyone in this lineup away. Mike Trout goes oppo after a long at bat. And it is 3-0. We've thrown 17 pitches. And there's our first out of the ball game. <laughs> Let's try and keep him in three. At least Nick Cassianos is a Philly. Juan lines out to right. Bramble would have had one of those like first step back bad jumps. Not that, I mean, first step back is what you want to do in the outfield. But on those bloopers, that first step back animation, guys like Framil get it a lot. I thought that was good drop in off the bat, not gonna lie. Now, Mickey Mantle's going to step in two outs, nobody on. We got to keep him at three. Thank you. All right. Goes up three and then immediately swings at three straight pitches for three outs. Maybe he got comfortable with that three-run lead. Let's try and get it right back. We tied this game up. He'll start getting nervous. They always do. Buxton smokes it on the left side. Tipper was up on the grass, so it sneaks through into the outfield. Oh, no. That's the cutter right there. It's in a good spot, but he wants that in more, no doubt. Yeah, he did that on purpose to get 99 speed off the bases. That's what you get. That's what you get. Come on, Kyle. No! 
Oh, you throw the same pitch again. It's the exact same pitch. Force. Ah, oh, Fran Mill in now. Ah, oh. dude. Oh man. Want to know? Come on, Fran Mill. Hold on, call time. I'm so mad at myself. I just missed that pitch twice. Fran Mill. E bow to left center. Died. Fran Mill for 39. Crushed. Dude, when that thing was headed out to the outfield, though, and the left fielder didn't stop running, I thought he was catching it at the wall. <laughs> I was prepared for the emotional damage. Sneak! All right. All right. Well, he's putting that four seam and the cutter, like, right there on the black down and in. We know he likes to go down there, and I've yet to hit it with a lefty. Gonna keep going there. Eventually, we gotta golf one out of here. Ah. Slurve got just under the barrel there. All right. We get all three back and we don't even lose the inning. Let's find a way to pitch. I might have to get the pen going early in this one, which is not good. We only got half of them dudes. Good swing. It'll be a leadoff single. Hung that slider. We got a head 0-1. I wanted to bury that slider. We hung it. We're lucky he didn't go yard if we're being totally honest. Chipper in now. Chipper flies out to right. That was a very dangerous first pitch fastball to a lefty killer. He was very late. And that is now going to bring up Felix with that runner on first. Fly ball to right. I thought he would bunt. He did not. Runner will be on first with two down now. Come on, let's get through this inning quick. One and two with two down. Jackie went yard last time, and I'm probably not going to pitch him away the rest of the game. Ground ball. Get a force of two. We're good to go, baby. Yes, sir. Nothing. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Dang it. Sneak through. The shift steals a hit from Jose Ramirez. If that was the cutter and it came in just a little bit more, we may have finally got one. That swing is much closer. He's going to put Rob. What are we doing? It is a tie game first time through the order. Get down. Get down. Get down. Yeah. And it went over his head. Yes. <laughs> That's what you get. Bad karma for putting a runner on for free. Buxton in. Iron. Deep. And caught it to wall. Of course. I thought I just went yard. I mean, we were all over that ball. We do take the lead. We still have a runner in scoring position. Makata's going to come up. He homered twice in his debut last episode. Already one for one today. I missed it again. I missed it again! <laughs> Yo, man! We're going to look at the positives, though. He is definitely going to keep throwing that pitch. We will get it. Smoked! Right at Jose Ramirez. I'm okay. I'm actually happy we got lucky there. Because I got a decent release on that pitch, and he threw it right out over the plate. Good change up. Want to know? Yeah, Kikuchi's control's not that good. Like, even when I get good and great releases, even that. I'm one degree off and not even half a second off. And he's missing by seven inches. Good cutter. That's a good pitch. Get ahead 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two, two. He hits that fastball cutter away well. I'm trying to get him on top of change ups. On the outside half. Three and two. The cutter. Beautiful. Oh, the Trout's got like 10 foul balls himself and two at-bats. This is his second full count. It's impossible to pitch the Trout with a card like this. Possible. The man either goes yard or he fouls it off. 475. Good God. All right, we're tied back up. We have the hammer in the bottom half, though. That is a majestic... Moonshot. The warm up Osuna and Chapman's not a good matchup against this guy. We'll do Osuna and we'll probably just do Osuna next. Frank Thomas pops it up. First pitch cutter. Two down. Juan flies out to center. Already gets one. He ties it back up. Let's get it right back. All right. The slider curve first pitch in is driving me nuts. I'm starting to get a little irritated though. They're all soft ground. Like I've had a soft ground ball or pop up on every swing. I, I've, I'm not even getting foul balls on these pitches. I'm, I'm really mad at myself for missing them as much as I am. Fran Mill! 
all over it, but the late side of good. Got a turn on that ball. Two pitches, two outs in the bottom of the third. Felix is at 18 pitches in the third inning, and he's given up four runs. What in the world? This guy is just pounding the strike zone. And I'm either hammering it or popping it up. No foul balls, no takes. There's that cutter again. I am just, I am blown away. The foul ball ratio is obnoxious right now. It, it has to be brutal. Yeah, foul balls are 12 to 2 after the first inning. And my two foul balls were in pitches in the strike zone. So I have yet to swing of the pitch outside the strike zone that didn't go in play. Changes at bats. Let's stay to it. Mickey fouls off that slider. It is 1 and 2. Another foul ball. Three straight foul balls here from Mickey Mantle. We'll do 1 2 again. Foul balls are now 15 to 2. Man, I gotta get I gotta get this guy out of the game. He can't get these guys out. I'm getting him to swing at two or three pitches off the plate every single at bat, and I just can't put anyone away. We're gonna do Osuna. A one. Adley swings the first pitch cutter in off the plate. A good slur. Ground ball. Four. Six. Three. Ah, there's the soft contact and play I've been looking for. Dipper in now. First pitch change up the chipper again. We get him to chase first pitch out of the zone. He fights it off. One, one. Three and one. Good take, sir. Three, two. Now there's absolutely no reason for me to throw him a strike with a pitcher on deck. He's look at him R2 and me. This guy's a nerd. What a nerd. Ah! <laughs> Let's hit. Come on. Foul balls are 18 to two. We balance that out. It, this dude's done. Don't let me get a couple extra pitches. Willie! Put it on a board. He is. Oppo blast. There's that cutter. I got it with a righty before I got it with a lefty. Of course I did. <laughs> of course I did. What a shot. Willie's first home run on pack squads. Brings up Jose Ramirez with the lead. I thought about it. I really thought about it. <laughs> I was gonna try and bunt against the shift. Now we hit. You know, bro. Home run pitch. Now we hit. See ya. Finally, we got one of those cutters in. That one was up chest high. I've been wanting to golf him. That ball was smoked. And I think he went ahead and oh, inject Osito, cuz. Just waiting for the notification. But what did I tell you? Went down three nothing. Came back and tied. He'll start getting nervous. As soon as we take the lead by more than one run, show me the notification, please. Out of coffee. Perfect. See ya. Not bad. That's two diamond premium packs. One for the win, one for the rage quit. Let's tally up the basics. We had two home runs, a double, and two singles. That is 12 basic packs on total bases. The two home runs is two bonus packs. Five runs is five bonus packs. We had one walk on the game. And obviously, unfortunately, we had zero strikeouts. The foul balls were just obnoxious in this game. Like, I, how many two strike counts did we have? Like, the two strike counts in that game were actually, considering how many two strike counts we had, Zero strikeouts is kind of nuts. The 12 total bases, one walk, five runs, two homers. That is 20 total basic packs. Not a lot, but we get two premium diamond player choice packs. So let's spin the wheel and see what we're going to get there. And we'll just rip 20 headliners today. All right, so we have 21 headliners here. I'm going to open 20 of them. Obviously, the lowest headliners, the one I'll leave. Set one. Let's open up the rest, starting with set two. 20 headliners. Try and get some of these featured diamonds. Again, I, last time we opened headliners, um... Some of these diamond feature cards would be really nice ads to our pitching staff. That's what I would love to pull here. Maybe 99 Yelich or something like that would be nice too. A set seven was uh, the Craig Biggio diamond card. Sorry, set eight headliner pack now? No. Set 12? Set 12? No. Oh, yeah. Two set 13s. And... Oh, Joey Gallo, early pack squad goon right there. See, Steven Strasburg, man. Might be an upgrade over some of the gold we have. We'll have to take a look. That's 21. Also, you guys in the comments the last video said I should throw uh, CJ Crone on the bench. I actually severely considered that, and I still might do it. I do like his swing. One more. Xander Bogart, set 28. But, uh, 
If I was going to put CJ Crone on the bench, it probably would have been for Nick Cassianos, but I'm going to ride that wave a little bit now since I'm a biased, excited Phillies fan. Jordan Alvarez is someone we definitely need to throw on the bench, though. Um, we can replace Justin Turner there. And then that'll give us Jordan, Brandon Lau as lefties, backup catcher and Zanino, uh, Zanino and then Castellanos and Lou Bob uh, as our righties. At 32, now, hey, look at that, a gold that gets added to the team and is a significant upgrade. Two more. I'm sorry, three more in total. There's two of these set 33s, and then we have a set 34. Old Mike Soroka, not looking forward to him joining the Braves rotation as a Phillies fan. Next, nothing. Kill Badu, Silver. Let's spin the wheel. Two time. I would love to finally get Otani here. We could throw him on the bench, use him on the mound. I'm just saying. Saying. All right, here we go. Two spins. The first spin we are going to get. What pack are we opening up here? We've got some finest cards, but nothing massive. A seventh inning classic. Something tells me that might be good. Now we spin it again. Along with the seventh inning classic pack, we're also going to get. Show me Otani. 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 An AL East. Three pack. All right, first pack was the seventh inning classic pack. We actually have two of these. Let's open this bad boy up. We got Dylan Bundy, who is a starting pitcher. Five pitch mix does have a sinker in there. Okay, per nine is 94. Could potentially get away with more um, foul balls on him. Then you got the 95 overall Adam Eaton card, gold defender. Balanced out hitting, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take the 95 overall diamond switch hitter, Danny Santana. Back in the day when this card first came out, MLB The Show 19, it was actually a straight up goon. Everyone in the community loved this card. Uh, when it came out this year, though, there was just already so many endgame cards in the game. He really didn't get any burn. So I'm actually excited. He's got so many different secondary positions. You can literally play him anywhere except for catcher. Um, yeah, so let's pick up Danny Santana. Might put him on first base for Klesko and then use Klesko as a, as a righty masher off the bench. We'll see. We got options. Next, uh, we're going to open up the AL West 3 pack, which is the... Um, AL West, sorry, it was the AL East, AL East three pack, AL East three pack has Mike Zanino, Rafi Devers, the Oscar Hernandez, Aaron Judge, and Cedric Mullins. I think we should just upgrade Zanino and slide him in to the starting spot over Robinson Sharif today. We're finally going to get the silver off the catcher spot out of the lineup. There's, that is a great pack, by the way. I hope that we get that pack again. I would love to open that one again. There's some really good outfielders there. Uh, we're going to put Zanino in, and we're going to start him at catcher in the next vid. Lineup in the next video, we're going to go Buxton, Moncada, Kyle Tucker, Fran Mil Reyes, Danny Santana, Willie Adamas, Jose Ramirez, and Mike Zanino. I am loving the diversity in this lineup so far. I'm actually about to record, record the next video right now. Spam record session. So episode nine it will probably be up the very next day after this one went up. So if you're watching this the day it went up, be on the lookout for another one tomorrow. Again, make sure you hit that thumbs up down below if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're going to be doing pack squads and no money spent. Daily double uploads every day as soon as MLB The Show 22 comes out. I'll see you guys then.